All right, I'm gonna try and overclock this Q9550. I heard people getting 3.4, 3.6, say 3.8 gigahertz is hot. I don't recommend anybody trying this unless you know what you're doing. Now I'm gonna go into my you can uh, ride your processor. I think I should sing them. Front side bus. Let's see, 1500. I think that'll be about right. My RAM is rated at 1150, which it, do, it can do 1500 easily. Timing optimal. Expert, of course. Thank you. system voltages. You should exercise caution when overclocking voltages that could cause system instability or even void warranties and damage your components. Okay. Shoot, I don't even remember what my memory voltage is. 1.85. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 1.85. Front side bus. CPU. Uh, um, I shouldn't need to increase my voltage. I don't want to do that. Okay, here we go. didn't work. Yeah, if we wouldn't have started back, all I would have had to do was clear my CMOS. But I hate clip clearing my CMOS, man. It's such a pain in the but going down there pulling that jumper off the motherboard and shorting it out. This motherboard is a socket 780i. Let's see here. Front side bus. Configuration. Let's try uh Sounds good. Like I knew it would. There we go. We got some. We're at three thousand six hundred megahertz. That sounds good. I'll go into Windows if we can make it.
so I'm going to have 3,600. I can do 1,900 bucks. And this broth wire still got to go. Whoa, 3,800 megahertz. All right, let's run three Mark 06. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if I start tweaking on the uh, motherboard, uh, the CPU voltages a little bit, and memory voltages, playing with that stuff, I probably could get 4 gigahertz out of this 2.8 um, Intel quad core Q9550. Uh, let's see if it holds stable to 3D marks. The operating system is Windows 7. frames per second. Wow, 3.83 gigahertz. And this is the fastest I've ever been. This is a $300 processor doing what a $900 processor does. kind of how I would save money and not spend any actual $900. I'd just buy a $300 processor and clock it up to the price of a $900 processor. If you know how to do it. I've been doing this about 10 years. Building them and clocking them. Checking the frames per second. The 3D marks ever since uh, what was the first 3D marks? 1999 fellas. Um, about when the first TNT video came out, card came out, well after the Voodoo. You guys remember Voodoo was the first uh, gaming graphics card, they were, they were the best, the re first real gaming graphics card. Then came TNT, Reba TNT, yeah. And then uh, NVIDIA bought Voodoo, and they used their 3D effects technology, I guess in their SLI. I still have a Voodoo 5 5500 graphics card. Believe it or not. Well, I only have 10 minutes on YouTube when it's done, if it's all done. Uh, I'll repost in the second half of this video. Well, let me just make it two parts.